Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Now today's video we're going to be talking about two things. Our new Japanese superstar and also that 4-0 win against Brighton. And that's how we're going to start this video off. What a performance it was. Did any of us expect that type of performance against Brighton? I didn't and I don't think many other people did as well. I knew before the game if we just didn't give Brighton any respect then we would you know have a strong chance at getting a positive result now i was working at the time and my phone was constantly like vibrating for the first five minutes and i'm thinking what is going on look at the phone and we are two nil up i couldn't believe it inside three minutes what a start it was being front footed i, I know in recent well since being a premier league club the first 10 minutes we haven't scored many goals i know it's it's come much later during the game when we've been chasing a result or something like that. But to start the game like we did was a fantastic was a fantastic start. You know, Brighton, I don't think knew what to do. They didn't know how to deal with our aggressive approach. We didn't give them any respect at all. And I know it's a cliche thing to say, but if you perform like that against every single Premier League side, and I know it's not possible, but if you do you get positive results, you will win a lot more games. And, you know, I think the second half of the Premier League season, it's so important. You know, we have to be better than what we were the first half of the performance in the Premier League. And if we are, we will stay up. We need to win a lot more games this second half because the likes of Sheffield United, the likes of Burnley, they also need the points as well. They don't want to go down without trying. And then you've got teams in and around us. Everton, Nottingham Forest, Brentford, Crystal Palace. They also want to win football matches because they don't want to go down as well. So it's so important to win your home matches. And at the end of the day as well, we're in control if we stay up or not. Not other teams, we're in control. Yes, other teams getting a poor result, it helps. But at the end of the day, if you win your football matches... You will stay up and the way we've been playing and especially since december really we have been putting in really good performances and if we keep this up from now until the end of the season we will stay up i am absolutely positive of that we will stay up this season the players are just getting better you can see the team chemistry like throughout the t like the team throughout the pit on the pitch you see the fluid like it being fluid everything about the way we've been playing football recently shows me and tells me that we are going to stay up in the Premier League. Obviously, the transfer window is still open. We can still bring in more players in, which I think we are going to, which will hopefully strengthen us in certain areas of the pitch. But right now, we are looking really good. And I feel like after last night's performance, a lot of more people, Premier League supporters, a lot of, you know, just, you know, general football fans are saying, you know what, Luton... You know, I was wrong about what I said at the start of the season about them, which is great to see and a lot of people owning up to it. And the way Brighton fans have reacted from the win, it's been really professional, really respectful as well. I haven't really seen a bad Brighton fan say anything negative. You know, a lot of them have just admitted, you know what, we were awful and Newton were quite good which is great to see. And also it shows you the progression from the last time we played against Brighton where we lost 4-1 um, away from home. But yeah, overall, I am obviously extremely happy with that performance. I'm delighted with Elijah Adebayo scoring a hat-trick. He's had a lot of abuse, I think, you know, since being a Luton Town player. Obviously there are times where he's had it, you know, really good and there's times when he's had it really low. But in the Premier League at the start, we did a video about it. He wasn't, you know, a lot of people were on his back. And he's now our top goal scorer with, I think, with eight goals. Scoring a hat-trick in the Premier League. It's an amazing feeling. Morris, he performed really well. Uh, some of the highlight stuff I've seen from Morris was direct, aggressive, you know, quite difficult to defend against. It was great to see Clark performing well. The midfield with Barkley and Lekonga. Obviously, we're falling in love with another lone player. Fingers crossed we can try and bring him back to the club next season. Defensively, you know, Osho coming back into the side, performing well. Burke now back-to-back -back good performances from him. Hopefully he can just stay fit. Amari Bell performing as well, keeping a clean sheet. Kaminsky will be happy with that. You know, it's looking really good now. And hopefully we can take this performance into the Newcastle game on the weekend away from home. But one of the major standout points from, obviously, all this 
Tom Lotka coming back, you know, showing his showing his face in training, which obviously would have gave the boys a lot of confidence, a lot of he just would have boosted morale around the whole team. He was also at the stadium as well, and he got to see that performance. It was a very emotional one because obviously I don't think he's going to play football again. But it was nice to see him being healthy, being fit, and that's obviously the main thing. But that would have gave everyone a boost within the squad. And then also our brand new Japan, Japanese superstar in Hashi. I'm going to try and figure out how to say his full name, but I think everyone on social media is calling him Hashi. Right back from Belgium. From what I've seen, I've only seen highlight you know, clips. I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly how he plays, but from what I've seen and from what I've read, he's basically like how Jack Stacey style of play. And we all know what Jack Stacey did at Luton Town Football Club. Very attacking, you know, wing back, caused all sorts of problems. And if he can replicate that in a Luton shirt, you know, just like what Jack Stacey did, I'm fully, you know, got the confidence that he will do extremely well here at Luton. At a great age as well, I think of 24 years old, we paid a fee of around £2 million, you know, which isn't a lot. But if he can turn into a £20 million signing, we've done extremely well. And yeah, he signed a contract deal until 2027. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him play, you know, a permanent right back because obviously Giles obviously left the football club and Alfie can just stay as a left sided wing back rather than move to the right hand side. But I'm excited. I'm extremely excited on what Luton can potentially do in the second half of the season. Everything's looking good. It's obviously important that Luton don't get ahead of ourselves. But if we can, you know, stay grounded, you know, keep to the plan, I think we'll stay up in the Premier League. Don't care if it's a bold thing to step, like to say, but everything's looking really good right now. You know, players are playing well. They're getting better. We're bringing exciting players in. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do. And if we do stay up, Rob Edwards deserves the manager of the season award because for what is a fantastic objective. It's a fantastic achievement if we could do that. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section of this video. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.